Hello everyone. Today we are going to study a very motivating and inspirational story. Believe me, whenever I read or teach this story, I get the goosebumps. Even today also I feel the same. Actually, this is the story about a brave girl who could not hear. <laughs> yes, who could not hear, but she was able to play some thousand instruments and she achieved great success and she proved that no physical disability can stop anyone to be successful let's begin the story she is none other than evelyn glenny this is the story from class 9th the sound of music part 1 evelyn glenny listens to sound without hearing it yes she could listen without hearing it it means she was actually deaf she could feel it better than the people hear it yes evelyn actually lost her hearing at the age uh, at very young age and uh, she was actually a scottish girl and it was very hard to be so success successful for a scottish girl right and uh, it was noticed at the age of eight when her mother called her name but she did not respond that very time she had a doubt that there is something wrong but somehow Evelyn was able to hide this from her parents and friends but she could not hide it longer because gradually her performance began to deteriorate you know she began to get poor marks there in the examination so headmistress suggested to consult an expert and after consulting the expert it was confirmed at the age of 11 that she was completely deaf she had lost her hearing it was confirmed at the age of 11 8 it was noticed first and 11 it was confirmed that she was completely deaf it was because of she had the gradual lo uh, hearing loss because of uh, nervous damage yes and then Ellie, Evelyn actually she was supposed or she was suggested to join any deaf school but she did not give up hope and never looked back meaning she didn't she wanted to lead a normal life she did not want to live or lead an abnormal life as generally people are supposed to lead those who have physical disability right she was determined to lead a very normal life and one once she saw uh, she saw a girl playing xylophone and she decided that very time that i also want to learn or i will also learn xylophone but everyone discouraged her that you are deaf how can you learn the xylophone but ron forbes her teacher he encouraged her that you can learn it but you have to bring a certain changes meaning that all the people here with the help of ears but you don't have to hear it you have to feel it you have to feel the vibration you have to sense it yes and for that what he did he brought two large drums yes and he placed it and uh, she began to practice and over the time she was able to feel it that uh, the higher drums vibration she felt it upper waist and uh, the lower waist and the lower drum she was able to feel from the waist down right so this this way she began to feel the vibration of the music and she often said this music flows through every part of her body right and she was only the girl who was auditioned at the age of 16 at the age of 16 when actually she practiced a lot she began to do orchestra and after that to polish that she or uh, she auditioned auditioned for the royal academy of music and there she broke all the records you know she secured highest marks ever in history and in three years she bagged all the awards in that academy after that after that she did not stop she practiced a lot and she became one of the top percussionists there in the world yes and here 
when when she was asked what is the secret of your hard work uh, but she does not uh, that uh, she does not accept it like she has done anything heroic in fact instead of that instead of accepting that she has done anything heroic she simply says if you work hard and know where you are going you will get there what a line if you work hard and know where you are going you will get there if your vision is not clear you cannot race there but if your vision is clear and you are working hard for the same you will definitely achieve it this is the line of Evelyn and she also says that she is actually workaholic workaholic means she knows very well that she has to work harder than classical musicians the normal classical musicians because she if she does not work harder she will not be able to compete with them so she is workaholic means who works very hard and it's very strange to know that she is able to speak three languages scottish of her scottish she says that you know she is able to speak because uh, at the age of 10 she heard this so she spoke flawlessly right or she is able to speak it flawlessly in fact, she is able to speak two more languages that is French and Japanese. You know, for her, it is said, uh, like Jen Blair said, that God may have taken her hearing, but He has given her back something extraordinary what we hear. She feels far more deeply than any one of us. Means she can feel it more deeply. Is it possible that she is gifted something extra? Actually, she has achieved it. She has acquired it by hard practice. Because in the beginning, she was not able to do that also. Well, in 1991, the Royal Academy Phil Hair Morning Society's prestigious Solist of the Year Award was conferred to her. Or she was conferred this award in 1991. Evelyn Glaney has already accomplished more than most people twice her age. When we talk of her achievement, you know, she has achieved more than or more than, you know, more than her age. I mean, more than twice her age. Yes. So uh, this is very inspiring and uh, we should also feel it like no disability or no problems can be and uh, uh, can be an obstacle before the success or before the achievement we should only work hard right and uh, we will definitely achieve success yes so uh, she always motivates and she has set the benchmark she is an inspiration for all those people who are disabled they always feel that if she, if Evelyn can do this, why can't we do? And in fact, a normal people like us, we should also feel the same. When she can achieve so much success, why can't we achieve a success what we have expected and desired? Simply what we need to do as she says that she is workaholic, she works hard, same way we should also work hard. And the line again, I want to repeat, this is very, very uh, motivating. If you work hard and know where you are going, you will definitely get there. So that is all. I hope this is clear to you. Thank you.